not wearing a shirt. Let's try that again. Hey everybody, I'm Jammer and welcome back to the island paradise of Animal H here on Animal Crossing New Horizons. It has been too long. Thank you everyone, of course, for your patience. I was out of town, but now I'm finally back. I'm finally back here to make some new videos for you guys to live stream this weekend. I seriously, I missed it. I've literally been thinking about making videos so much, but I'm like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta take break. I gotta like enjoy the vacation, but now I'm back. And I'm better than ever. Hold on, let's just check our mail. This is driving me crazy. Nothing. Looks like I just got like a wetsuit, basically. Today, we're gonna kind of take it a little bit easy. There has been a lot of changes to the island since you've last seen it. Um, while I was away, I did do some updates. You'll already see right away that, um, yeah, this area has been filled in. The staircase is no longer here. There's been some some changes. I'm planning on changing up where my house is. Just, well, at least the front of my house anyways, because it was just so obnoxious having these two staircases and I never ended up using them. So I'm still playing with those ideas. Right now it's kind of like, just like this for now, but we'll deal with it later. But the new stuff, oh, I'm already spoiling it, but there's a secret passageway this way. And if you follow that, you'll enter the brand new bug exhibit. And I think it's really, really coming together. I kind of simplified it more, made the area a little bit smaller, walled it off with the climbing walls actually which looks really cool um here in the center i have this garden bench you obviously can't access it but i don't know i really love the color of this fountain it kind of matches like the wood in the background as well as like the um little drapes right here in front of the museum and if we make our way down this way i believe i've shown it before but this is the new fossil exhibit i've changed it up so it's not like you walk down into the dig site it's more like you walk from above and look down at the uh, the fossils here we got like a spinosaurus oh I still need the tail for that guy anyways this area really comes together at nighttime when like all the lights are on it like the green floor lamps on this side pink here white in the middle it's super super cool the newest addition worth showing off is actually this staircase which you might be wondering where the heck does this go well first of all here's the new fish exhibits like I said much more simplified more concise and now you can walk up here to an observation deck. It's kind of like a rooftop cafe. Not really cafe, but basically the idea is I'm gonna like terraform something pretty crazy back that way. So then you can like come up here and like hang out with your friends and like look off afar to like something absolutely gorgeous. I spent mo more time actually like designing this side. What the heck? Why is there a present on the ground? Oh my gosh, this might have been from like a week ago when I shot a balloon down when I was- Oh my gosh, I can't believe this was- Well, what is this? Well, <laughs> I guess we're wearing this for the rest of the video then. Anyways, like I was saying, I spent more time designing this side of things than the right side just yet. Um, I'm playing with the idea, I, if you guys have actually- If you guys actually know, um, what's the tallest table in the game? Because I'd love to put those across this way and potentially put bug statues as well as just live bugs themselves on top of said table. So then they'll like peek over this wall to like the lower area so you can see it from below, you know. Um, but if you know that, yeah, definitely let me know in the comments. Anyways, and then here on the right side, I've kind of just got some fish kind of like lined up. This is for more taxidermy stuff. Um, and for now, I have this as the hopscotch to get across because I actually can't put a bridge here. Initially, I was like, oh, how fun it would be. I could connect this area with a bridge and then work with like doing like an upper area from the resident or from the village or the neighborhood or whatever. And it's still an idea I could potentially do. Um, but right now, it's actually too close to the edge on this and this side. I'd have to make it like, like a little bit wider or something. I don't know. The issue is right here where it's like a one wide and it goes to immediate cliff. Um, I might have to like pull the river out like one tile to like make the bridge fit or something. So the bridge kind of like, so the waterfall here kind of goes like on an angle to the right or something. I don't know. I'll have to play with ideas, but that's kind of like future projects going forward. Oh, and also don't even talk about how, how crazy my hybrid flower farm is going right now. It's out of control, as I'm sure many of yours are as well. Let's see. We did also get a new purple pansy. No blue roses because, of course, why would they give you that? Oh, we got two new pink what wind flowers. What else did we get? Oh, Flix here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that's one way to figure out that Flix here. Right, we're going to have to remember to um, give him a taxidermy today. I'm fairly confident that we have a bunch of bugs ready to be given to him. But there has been some other changes here to the museum district, and that is these extra long bridges. I'm sure you've already seen these. We made these a couple weeks ago on stream, but mirroring on both either side, we have these amazing, super extra long bridges. Because initially, they were just like extensions of the bug and fish exhibit, but like they ended up just being like highways for my town anyways that I ended up running through a lot. So I thought it'd be a lot cooler to make these like 
kind of fake long bridges where you can look down into the fossil exhibit and then also, well, look down to kind of nothing down there. Actually, there's something new over there I can show off. But anyways, I don't know. I kind of like this um, this aesthetic, right? And then on either side, there's actually a little picnic area right here with like bushes and stuff with matching pillows. And I thought it's so small. It's such a small area, but I thought it actually turned out really cute. Here, I'll show you the other side real quick. Boom, here it is. So this one had the red checkers, the blue, uh, the other one had the blue. I like the blue one better, but I kind of wanted to make them different and kind of match the aesthetic of each of the shops that are on either side. Speaking of which, I actually just dumped some cardboard out here in front of Nook's Cranny. I don't know, it kind of makes it feel more like work, worked in. Like these are all like the shipments ready for like Nook's shop or something. I don't know, I just kind of was funny <laughs> to just dump all these boxes here right in front of the shop. Nailed it. Please don't disappear. <laughs> I thought I was gonna land on the football. Any votes in the comments what it's gonna be? I'm gonna say five clay. It's a hat! Well, what do you know? A no oh my god! <laughs> Our outfit is just looking fabulous. Absolutely fabulous <laughs> today, isn't it? As you'll see, I actually got rid of the rivers and waterfalls that were here. Um, I'm not- I don't have the inspiration yet, but I'm considering to, um, change up the village or neighborhood at some point. I've always, I'm really proud of this upper area. The lower area, I was just a little more uninspired with. Um, I don't know, that's gonna be a future project. But um, for now, I'm just kind of leaving it as it is until I get the inspiration. But speaking of inspiration, let's walk over here and show you the well, semi-finished castle. I literally spent a ton of time, boom. There it is. Oh, I didn't even realize I still have the ivy pattern on those, <laughs> on those panels over there. So the issue we had for the longest time is how can we incorporate the waterfalls as well as the castle wall? It's no longer the amazing OP double height waterfalls, but I think that's okay. I think it still actually gets the same like effect across and having all like the bushes matching and stuff. It still incorporates the little islands and I think they still look pretty good, honestly. Oh, looks like we're missing some panels over on that side. All right, actually, I'm gonna catch this fish. I know like I'm just like all over the place this episode, but this could be something cool pretty big it looks bigger than a black bass but knowing our luck okay sh 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 oh my gosh it was instant all right i guess we'll see what it is right now <laughs> and it's a tire <laughs> i don't know why i got my hopes up don't worry the fighting pit is still here but i did fill in the river that was surrounding it because it was just a mess it was dumb and it just took up way more space than it needed to i'm gonna play with this lower area down here at some point i might like move the fighting pit like to a corner or something so then we have like actually room to work with in this area because it just feels so underutilized Anywho, let's actually go in the castle and I'll show you the full experience. So we got like the wedding arch, all the silos and stuff, and the inside is similar to probably what you've seen before, but if you haven't seen it yet, it's got this amazing, completely white themed flower courtyard. Oh my gosh, I'm a no, Marina, why'd you get off the bench? Why are we still here? Just to suffer. We're gonna get the like cutest photo of Marina. Also, why you call me Biscuit? Why you call me Biscuit? I'm really proud of this area. This area turned out really cool. Um, I will admit, maybe at some point we might see so those waterfalls that are on that far edge. I might actually even pull those back at some point or get rid of them. Um, I don't know, to give a little bit more room to these courtyards in here. Because like as it stands now, you can't even walk in these ones. And I don't know, it'll give a little bit more room to do more in here if we want. But I don't know, as far as things go, it's already pretty, pretty well designed. I do want to incorporate the lighthouses at some point. But for now, um, those are just kind of over there. So what else is new worth showing off here in the island? Oh wait, there is one other place I gotta show off. That's right, because obviously I changed the front of my home. The entrance that normally was used was of course this pathway here, which now there's a rock in it, because why not? So what I changed with this walkway is I completely changed the entrance area to the house. It's looking uh, like really, really cool. I, I, at first I actually had this completely filled in um, because I don't really like, you know, like I said, I don't really want this double staircase lower area. Hold on, I'm always getting distracted. There's like this cool fish. Let's see what it is. Could be another tire. Could be something cool. All right, let's see what it is. Oh, it's a black bass, of course. But anyways, the reason I actually broke this down is because I didn't like how this area just ended up becoming a dead end. So there's no reason to ever walk this way. Plus it kind of like walled me off from like being able to like completely navigate my town efficiently. Um, so I don't know. I might have to do something later. Maybe I'll just even put a staircase like here or something simple. You know, and then keep this as just like a nice waterfall pit area. <laughs> I don't know. But I will say the mountain here on the left is really, really pretty. That actually, that duck, I wish I could turn it around. I literally can't to keep that terraforming the shape that it is. I can't turn that duck around. It's so, it's so annoying. <laughs> so instead I just made the, this duck face the other direction. 
I don't know. I was just kind of playing around, having fun with terraforming tools. Um, I do want to incorporate more kind of terraforming like this. This was kind of like a practice for when I plan on doing the roofside deck at the museum. Um, I'm still going to have to brainstorm and play with ideas. I'd love to actually hear some of your ideas. How I'm going to best handle entering my home. Because I don't want to keep using up as many staircases. But it kind of might be my only option down this way, of course. So, I don't know. I'll have to play with some ideas. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you have any inspirations to like how to better... How to better like give my home like a front yard because right now it's just these staircases and a mess and a mess of some flowers so finally i think that is all that's been new to the town um let's go check out the shops yeah let's go see what they got new in store for us today good morning mabel it's always good to see you let's see what kind of clothes they got for us today i mean and nothing's really gonna beat what we're already wearing let's be real oh actually this is a cool shirt i don't think i've seen this but let's go really well with those um flowered shorts what else do they got the sweater vest looks cool. That'd be worth buying for, like, cataloging purposes. The cow skull. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have this, but I don't actually know if I do. It looks different. You know what? I don't think I do because, it, it, like, I don't really recognize it. Because I'm used to, you know, what it looked like in older games and stuff. All right, we'll buy some of this. We'll oh, shoot. I just walked out with it. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're just wearing this. Maybe I can change my outfit to uh, something else here. Hold on. Nope. I couldn't salvage it. There's no. I bought a couple of other like miscellaneous things that sent, but I sent them back to my house more than anything. All right, let's go check out Nooks now. Hello, Timothy and Tomothy. <laughs> Welcome to Nooks, Granny. Let's see. Oh, actually, I don't think I have this. This ceiling fan looks pretty. A oh, wall fan, excuse me. Um, and then the piano. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I have similar pianos, but I don't know if I have that color. This is like the the normal one, but I have like the street piano color. <gasps> it's Destiny. We have the exact amount of bells required. What do you know? <laughs> that was almost like too perfect. That was It was destiny all along, wasn't it? Also, I feel bad that I've been out of town literally to uh, during the, the, the new, you know, diving suit update because I've yet to really show off or really play going in the water. Yeah, sure, on my own I've done it, but um, I don't know. I haven't done it for like a video or anything like that. All right, we got to find a good spot to jump in. Oh, this is the one. We're going to go up on the lighthouse. And hop on it. I've been trying to meet Pascal at least once a day, you know, so then you can get your the DIY or a pearl and stuff. Pearls are a lot harder to get than I was expecting, huh? So I'm just gonna dive around for a bit real quick, see if I can't get a, a scallop real fast so then we can meet Pascal, um, but I won't bore you with me catching all this random nonsense, so I'll just cut to that right now. Oh, there it is! There we go! <laughs> okay, cool, so Pascal's here. Come on over, my buddy. Hey, man, about that scallop? Of course. You can always have my scallop. So let's see if we can actually get a DIY today. I've been getting so many pearls. I think I've only gotten like two DIYs so far. All right, let's get the wisdom. Let's hear what it is. Feel this. The present is the past, man. By the time I finish saying this sentence, it'll already be history. Whoa. It's pretty deep. I mean, think of it this way. Right now, what I'm saying is my present. But to you watching this video, it is well in the past after me editing and posting it and stuff like that. So really, you guys always interact with me in the past tense? In exception to live streams, of course. Wait, shoot, there's actually a delay with live streams. So it is always in the past. That's so weird. <laughs> All right, Pascal, enjoy your scallop. Let's hope and pray we got a DIY. Let's see what we got. And I don't even see it in my pockets. Did he just give me a hat? Oh, he just gave me a hat. I didn't even know that was a thing. I thought he could only give, um... Well, I knew that there was mermaid clothing, but I didn't realize... I don't know, for some reason I thought it'd be a DIY. Because, I mean, you know how the, uh... You can craft, like, the grass skirt, and you can craft, like, the, uh... The little hat as well. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. So, for some reason, I thought the mermaid clothing was actually a DIY as well, but apparently it's just clothes. Alright, we gotta see at least what the TR is. And this is also the most annoying thing. Whenever I'm on the northern side, I gotta go all the way over... To the freaking Reds Alley, and hey, I will say though, I'm a lot better at actually getting onto the beach. And as soon as I say that, I just know I'm gonna totally biff it. Ready? Let's see. Watch this. I'm gonna get on it first try. Oh, second try. Oh no! <laughs> Am I really stuck again? Come on! I was so good at this. Okay, let's try it on an angle. There we go. Whew, not as bad as last time. All right, let's check out this tiara. Oh. My goodness, that is the cutest. It's got shells on it and everything. <gasps> All right, we got to pose. We got to pose here. Adorable. 
adorable. But I think that's going to be everything for me for now. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big awesome like. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe for tons more on Animal Crossing New Horizons. Oh, shoot. We've got to give Flick the bug. It's all right. I'll just do it off camera in a second here. As a reminder, we do stream this game every weekend, and we will be streaming this weekend at 10 a.m. Eastern, both Saturday and Sunday, so come on by. We're going to play on my island, have you guys over, and we might actually do something a little bit special on one of the other days. It'll still be Animal Crossing related, don't worry. But um, I'll let you guys, I'll give you guys some details as we get closer to that date. Be sure to follow me over on Twitter to keep up with everything we do with the channel, as well as join our community Discord, the link in the description. You guys already know, it's a great place to find friends to play Animal Crossing with and trade turnips and all that fun stuff. So definitely check it out. I highly encourage it. So I think that's about everything for me for now. Thanks guys again so, so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!